guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing well so today i have a very exciting video for you guys i have a tutorial and a first impressions on tarte's new busy gal goals palette so i have the palette right here look how gorgeous it is let me open it oh my god i'm struggling already this is the palette you guys how beautiful so when i saw this on their instagram page i completely freaked out i love the concept of a busy gal goals palette um when i was looking at the palette on their website i fell in love with the colors i fell in love with the names of the shades and the blush and the highlight and i had to get my hands on it so it finally came in and i thought why not do a tutorial on this look that I created? Um, so what I tried to do for today's look is I tried to create like a daytime glam makeup look. So this is more of a afternoon look. Um, so if you guys want me to do like a nighttime look, something more intense because there are there are like darker shades, more purpley plum shades in this palette, um, then make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below and I will definitely film another tutorial for you guys. Um, so overall in today's video you're going to see me create this look um, and you're also going to get my first impressions and my thoughts on this palette. Um, so yeah if you guys want to see that then make sure to keep on watching. Alright, so because I want the focus of the video to be on the palette itself, I already went ahead in and did my foundation and like my base routine as well as my brows. If you guys want to know what products I use and how I apply the products, then make sure to check out my previous video. I'll have it linked down below. I use the exact same products and the exact same routine to um, have my base ready for today. So what I'm going to do is get started with this. I'm super excited. Um, God, can't wait to see this. Okay, so it comes in like a lot of packaging. Okay, so this is the palette. Wow, this is so gorgeous. The front packaging, this is like, um, I don't think this is actual wood. It's not. It's like a um, placement, like a sticker maybe. I don't know. But this is stunning. Let me open it up for you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay. Look at that. That is so beautiful. All right, so now that we have some first impressions right off the bat from just looking at the product, I'm gonna go ahead in and actually test it out and see how I like it. So I've already primed my eyes and I've set them the exact same way that I did in my previous video. So if you really want details on that, check out my previous video. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Morphe M441 blending brush. This is what it looks like. I know it looks a bit dirty, but I did just like clean it off so there's no product on here. I have to really go ahead in and clean my brushes. It's just something that I've been avoiding. Um, comment down below if you are on that flow too, on this whole quarantine thing. I just have been very lazy. But I think I'm going to clean these makeup brushes this week. So I'm just grabbing a blending brush and I'm going to go ahead in with the shade On The Move. Let me show you guys. First of all, the names are just something else. Like, let me read them to you. So we have Self Made, Role Model, Go Getter, Got This, Overtime, Hustle, On The Move, Gramit, TGIF, which stands for Thank God It's Friday. I'm sure the whole world knows that already. And then the, the blush is called Brunchin and the highlight is called Dusk to Date Night. Like I just, these names also were a big reason why I purchased this palette. I just feel like, I don't know, I just had to have it. And I feel like it's just such a relatable palette. Um, so whoever marketed this at Tarte did a fantastic job. So you can see all of the names. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab On The Move, which is a very nice dusty light pink color, almost kind of like the color of my hijab. So I'm going to go ahead in and I'm going to dust this onto my crease. It 
it's like very 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 easy to blend like I'm not having any trouble blending this color but it's more the pigmentation but I think it's because it's a lighter color that I'm working with on my face on my against my skin tone I feel like that's the issue right now but um, in terms of a tutorial perspective, all I'm going to do is continue to blend this color um, onto my crease until I'm happy with it. So I'm just going to go ahead in and fast forward or just jump to the next step for you guys. Um, and then I'll let you know what I'm going to be doing next. So now what I'm doing is with the same color, the pinky color that's on the crease, I'm going to start blending this onto the outer portion of my eye and just kind of smoke it out like this and connect it to this part as well. So smoking it here as well as down here. And again, it's okay if it's not perfect because I'm going to go ahead and clean it up with concealer when I finish up with my base. So I know that fallout is something that people are always concerned about with palettes. So all I've done so far is worked on this shade um, and I don't see much fallout. So as of right now, not that much fallout. This could change in the next 10 minutes, <laughs> but as of right now, it's okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be taking a flat brush. This is a Morphe M124 brush. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to be taking the color Self Made and I'm going to apply this onto the um, first uh, inner third of my eye. So I'll just show you guys what the color looks like. This one right here. So I don't want to use any concealer or any setting spray to apply this eyeshadow because I really want to see how it applies on its own. And what I'm doing is when I'm applying the eyeshadow, I'm kind of going up like this so that it opens up the eye and it really brightens it. I learned that trick from Amy Macedo here on YouTube. So, and I, I've noticed it makes a really big difference. So I am just pulling that color upwards and you can see that gorgeous shimmer. Now I'm just gonna pat this color on, really pack it on. So in terms of this eyeshadow, like I mentioned, there is some fallout on my face as well as a bit on the pan, but with shimmers, that's kind of inevitable. And to me, that doesn't really bother me, but um, I'm just stating those facts because I know that obviously people like to know these things before they decide if they want to purchase something. It's kind of a deciding factor for them, so... Okay, so what I just did right now is I just kind of dusted off whatever excess product was on this brush um, and I just kind of dusted it clean and now I'm going to be grabbing the shade Got This, which is this shade right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this shade onto the middle of my eyelid. And I might actually just drag it down a bit onto the outer portion, but I'm going to focus that for smoking out like more of a matte neutral shade. So right off the bat, similar um, reaction to the first, sh the first shimmer that I applied. It's applying very nicely very smoothly there is a little bit of fallout just tap off excess so you can avoid getting too much under your eyes and in terms of the pan itself there is a bit of fallout on the pan but again inevitable for shimmers so what i'm doing is when i'm applying this shade i'm making sure to also kind of blend it in with the first shimmer that i applied so just making sure that they kind of marry each other and they're nice and blended together. So I want to try to see how this color applies with my finger. So I'm going to just go ahead in with my finger and dab this color on. It applies nicely with your finger actually. Oh, it applies very nicely with your finger. So maybe I will do that. You can see the difference. So what I'm doing now is I'm going back in with the brush that I used to apply the pink shade on my crease and I'm going to grab that color again on the brush and I'm going to just dust that on my crease again as well as the outer corners of my eyes to make sure everything is nice and blended together. So 
So what I'm doing right now is I'm really packing that pink shade onto the outer corners of my eyes, making sure that it's nice and blended with this shimmer shade right here. So next I'm gonna grab the shade Role Model, which is this shade right here. I'm gonna be grabbing that shade with my Morphe E17 blending brush and I'm going to concentrate this on the outer corners of my eyes just to intensify the outer corner a bit and just to add a little bit more dimension. And I'm not really pulling this color out onto the outer corners, I'm mostly just concentrating it on the lid area because that's where I want to kind of add like a more of a dimension to the look. Um, so I'm concentrating this just on the outer corner, I'm not pulling it outwards. I want to leave this outer area to just have the dusty light pink shade. All right, so I think I'm gonna take a break from the eyes and I'm gonna just fix up the face a little bit. So I'm just going ahead in with this face brush um, by Nivelle and Nora and Elf and I'm just gonna wipe away the excess eyeshadow that kind of fell off, just dust it away. All right, and for my concealer, I'm going to be going ahead in with a Tarte concealer, and I'm going to be using the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. Now, usually I use the shade um, 25N, which is light, medium, neutral, but today I'm going to be trying the shade 32N, which is medium neutral. Now, the reason why I got a darker shade was because um, lately I've been tanning my face i've been using this spray tan um it's a sorry a tanning mist and so i've been using a darker foundation and sometimes i find that the 25n can be a little too bright so i thought i would go like a couple shades darker and see how i like this one um so i'm gonna go ahead in and try that today so right off the bat i really like this one a lot better it looks like it might match if you guys know me you know of course if you watch my videos you know I like a very bright under eye um, but I just found 25n was kind of pushing it a bit and looked a little too bright so let me blend this out and see if I like this one So this one is still very bright, but it's definitely not as bright as 25N. Just do a little bit of a side nose contour. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up the edge of the eyeshadow just like that. Now I'm going to take my um, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in um 27s light medium sand and i'm going to brighten my chin as well as my forehead and the reason why i don't use the creaseless concealer on other parts of my face is because since the formula is a hydrating formula i don't want that hydration on other parts of my face i really only need it under my eyes so to set all of this in place i'll be going ahead in with my laura mercier translucent setting powder all right so next what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead in with some eyeliner and i'm going to line my eyes so what i'm actually doing is i'm just creating a subtle line outwards because i just want to elongate the eyes a bit all right, so eyeliner is done. Now I'm gonna go ahead in and dust away all the setting powder. So now I'm gonna go ahead in and finish up with my lower lash line. I'm grabbing my Morphe M431 pencil brush and I'm gonna grab the shade on the move um, and I'm going to go ahead in and smoke that onto my lower lash line. So next I'm grabbing my Morphe E35 small flat brush like it's very very tiny and I'm gonna grab the shade roll model which is the brown shade that I applied on the outer corners of my eye 
and I'm going to grab that onto the tip of the brush show you guys just on the tip of this brush and I'm going to smoke that very very close to my waterline and what this is doing is it's going to create a very nice dimensional look on the lower lash line as well and the very last thing I'm going to do for my eyes is I'm going to grab the highlight shade Dusk 2 Date Night and I'm going to apply that color onto the um, inner corners of my eyes. That is very stunning. So the highlight shade doesn't really look like a highlight on the pan, but it sure looks like a highlight on the skin. So I'm quickly going to go off camera and finish up the eyes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the Kiss Number no. 11 lashes. They are my favorite drugstore natural lashes. So I'm going to apply those. And then I'm going to also apply some mascara. And I'm going to be applying the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Alright, so I have my mascara on and the lashes on. Now I'm going to go ahead in and contour my face using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. So I'm also going to contour a bit of my nose using the same brush. I'm just going to dust the sides of my nose and just the bottom of the nose a little bit. And then I'm going to just does that with my finger. So now I'm going to go ahead in with the blush and the highlight shade. First I'm going to go ahead in and apply the blush. That is such a beautiful blush and it goes so nicely with the eye look. I would say this is a classic pink blush. It's the perfect blush to have um, in your collection, especially for like an everyday, um, even a nighttime look. I feel like it's a universal blush color, so this is very nice. So I'm also going to apply some on my nose, just a tiny bit, and a little on the chin, and just a little on the forehead. And this is just going to add some more color to the face. Alright, so next up is highlight. I'm going to just grab that shade. Alright, so right off the bat, I'm noticing that... Oh, whoa. That went from 0 to 100. Did you guys see that? <gasps> oh, no. <gasps> they figured it out. I know that people like have been having issues with their highlights and stuff, but can I just say that the one in this palette is something else. Even when I applied it in my own inner corner, I was shocked. You can see that highlight. I mean, I just applied way too much for a daytime look, but who cares? Not gonna lie, you have to build this highlight. But that's a good thing. That's kind of, it makes it versatile. You can keep a more subtle highlight for the daytime and then totally intensify it in the nighttime. But I'm going to have to match what I did on this side of the face. So I'm going to have to do an intense cheek highlight, but that's okay. Holy, you guys, this is beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. Now I'm going to just apply some on the nose. So I just took off the lip balm that I was wearing earlier. I'm just going to just apply some highlight on the cupid's bow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my beauty blender and I'm going to really press this highlight into the skin just to make it more natural because you know I'm trying to go for a daytime look and right now it's looking like I'm going out tonight but that's okay there's honestly really no rules to makeup you can wear however much makeup you want in the daytime in the nighttime whatever it is I feel like that's just like a thing but really you can wear however much you want all right, and the last thing I have left to do is my lips, and I'm going to be going ahead in with my Huda Beauty lipstick in the shade Interview. I'll show you guys what it looks like. I felt like this color was so fitting with the theme of this palette since it's Busy Gal Goals, and this is called Interview. I just thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> so also the color really works with the look, but also the names kind of match, which I thought was really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and, and apply this, but actually right before I do that, I'm just going to 
uh, line my lips with my Nabella Noor and e.l.f. Uh, lip liner in my Renewed. Alright guys, so this is the final makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And of course, if you guys want to see me do a nighttime look using the Tarte Busy Gal Goals palette, then make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below. And I will definitely do another look with this palette. Now just an overall verdict on this palette, I think it is so beautiful and I really really love the concept of this palette, the whole Busy Gal goals and just the names of the colors and just everything about this palette is just amazing and obviously I have a bias towards these eye and cheek palettes. I love them. You know I love my Tarte Clay Play Volume 2 but again I give you guys my honest opinion on what I thought about these um, colors and the product itself and how it applies and you can see that it applies very beautifully. Um, so yeah, if you guys want me to try out some more of the darker shades, I can definitely do another video for you guys. Um, and of course, all the other products that I used will be listed down below in the description box, so make sure to check that out. And yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!